Good morning, boys and girls and all God's children. Thank you for being here today on this Easter morning. As you can see, I am in the library today. I don't know about you, but I really like libraries and I really like books. And I really enjoy our library here at King of Kings because within this library we have many books that tell about Jesus and his love for us. Today, I am going to share with you a very special book. This book is about Easter, it's about Jesus and his love for us, and it also has beautiful illustrations that were prepared for us by our younger Sunday school children. So it's going to be fun to tell you how all those pictures work together to talk about the Easter story. Now our story doesn't begin with Easter Sunday or even the week before Easter. Today I'm going to start our story with creation. In the beginning, God created the world and everything in it, and it was good. God even made man and a woman, and God said they were very good. God told the man and woman that they could eat from any tree except the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Tempted by a serpent, they ate from that tree, and as a result, sin entered the world. And yet God did not leave them without hope. He promised them a Savior. Although many years passed, God kept his promise, and he sent his Son, our Savior, Jesus, into the world. Jesus was born as a baby. Jesus did many things that other boys and girls do. He ate, slept, learned, and even probably had chores to do. He grew up in the house of a carpenter, so he probably even learned some carpentry skills as a boy and a young man. When Jesus was about 30 years old, he began his ministry. He preached and taught and healed people. His mission was always to seek and save those who were lost. There were some people, the Pharisees, who didn't like what Jesus had to say, and they didn't like the things Jesus did. They began to make evil plans. On that first Sunday, Jesus came riding into Jerusalem. The people waved palm branches and yelled, Hosanna! Jesus was riding into Jerusalem to do that which he came to do suffer and die for the sins of God's people. Later that week, on Thursday, Jesus met with his disciples for a Passover meal. It was there that he gave them a new command. They were to love one another as Jesus loves them. Judas, one of the disciples, left that meal as he would later betray Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. After their special meal, Jesus and some of the disciples went to the garden called Gethsemane, where Jesus prayed. A bit later, some men came and arrested Jesus and took him to be questioned. They treated him poorly. They even put a crown of thorns on his head. Though tired, bruised, and beaten, Jesus had to walk to Calvary, the place he was to die for the sins of all. He had to carry his own cross. It was there that Jesus hung on the cross for the sins of all. When he had died, some of his friends removed his body from the cross and placed it in a tomb. A large stone was rolled in front of the opening to that tomb. A couple of days later, on the first Easter morning, Mary and some of the other women were going to the tomb to put spices on Jesus' body. When they got there, they saw that the stone had been rolled away and the tomb was empty. Jesus' friends did not know what happened to Jesus' body. Mary, one of the women, was outside the tomb crying when Jesus appeared to her. It was hard to believe that he was actually alive. What great news that is. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. That is not the end of the story. You and I are part of God's Easter story. He suffered and died on the cross and rose again for you so that you could have forgiveness of sins and eternal life with him. What a wonderful story that is for all of us to remember. And this is, while this is in this book, it's also all those stories are in the Bible as well. Today, I encourage you to ask your parents to go to our website and download this paper to go along with our children's message. This is a face that I would like you to make look like yourself. So if you have red hair, you can put red hair on it. If you have dark hair, put dark hair on this person. Make sure you match the color of eyes that you have. 
And the important thing is the message down below. It says, Jesus suffered and died on the cross and rose again for me so that I can have forgiveness of sins and the hope of eternal life with him. You can put this picture on your refrigerator to remind you what the Easter message is all about. I also encourage you to, to tell others to download this from our website so they too can know what the Easter message is all about. Please join me in prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for coming to earth for me. Thank you for suffering and dying on the cross and rising from the dead for me so my sins might be forgiven and I might have the hope of someday being in heaven with you. Help me to share that good news with others. Amen. Thank you for joining me for this special Easter children's message. I pray you have a blessed day.